страдаю, чем они. Вот они улыбаются, а я все же страдаю. Я же не должна страдать, я страдаю. It seems to me I suffer more than other people. When I see вот other вот. people, it seems that I'm suffering Первый most. шаг, с чего начинается? And can you give me first step how to stop suffering? I mean, I have been talking about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's very, very easy to feel like this. Nobody can understand my situation. How I'm suffering. They can see. Look how they are happy. For me. The base of feeling like this, the base of thinking like this, is that identification with that me, me personality and developing and letting oneself go in self-pity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And have a good look at yourself and see, actually, that most of that pain I'm creating exactly by doing so. If I identify and feel sorry for myself, then that whatever situation I have to deal with it with, it's getting huge. And It looks to be so terrible. Learn to accept what is. Stop comparing. Stop looking. Look, he has such a nice life. Who for me? I don't have such a nice life. You have your life, no matter what the other guy's life is. <laughs> And then see. Okay, there are difficulties, that there are burdens in my life. And then instead of always functioning like that, whenever it, anything difficult comes, that I say, no, no, not again, not me again, no, no, no. Then you say, okay, it needs a bit <coughs> an effort, I have to deal with it, It's not the most pleasant thing, but just have the courage to accept. Accept it is as it is. It needs courage not to slip into that self-pitying mode. All right, the situation is that I have the means I can deal with it. And the more you Do that, the more your self-confidence is growing, you become aware, yes, it is possible. There is the strength there. There is the capacity there. There is so much more to you than you are aware of. But you have to decide that you really are honest with yourself, that you take the trouble to do so. Don't wait that uh, somehow then the universe will serve you your life, that from then on it's just a stream of pleasant experiences. <laughs> There may be words like this, but not here! <laughs> <laughs> It's constructed like that. We come here to face confrontations. And facing them, we are getting stronger. Something very precious is accumulated. The consciousness, the experience of that essence is expanding. 
the essence is the same. It doesn't change. The experience of that essential reality is continuously expanding. And to live in this world, it's a strange situation. <laughs> Consciousness tied to a piece of meat, <laughs> having to confront the situation all the time where your body is, there is your consciousness, there is your experience, like it or not. <laughs> where your body is, there you have to deal with whatever is, deal with all the limitations that come along. And it's pleasant and it's unpleasant, it's pleasant, it's unpleasant. It's always that tension. But if you are not resisting against the fact that it is like this, then it stops to be such a terrible story. Then you can go about it playfully. Okay, this is an unpleasant situation. If I'm not resisting, I just take it as it comes, deal with it and let it go, and it's no big deal. But it becomes a big deal if I say, no, 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 not again, no, no, no. <laughs> then it's getting huge and powerful. Confrontations Difficult situations are always opportunities to become more self-aware. And the habitual reaction of the me personality is always say no, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't want. So the very fact that we learn not to do that is learning to connect with what you really are, not to connect with that ID, with that image that I've created about myself. That divine being that you are. Every time you accept, every time you let go, it's like your attention is thinking back towards that source that makes the experience possible. And that doesn't suffer. Here, now. There is no suffering. The suffering is uh, all in our mind, all connected with our attachment to what has happened, what may happen, what we don't like to happen right now. But if you learn to bring the attention back and be, more and more you become aware here, now, there is no suffering. Because that being that you are is naturally joyous. It need not be made joyous by things. It's not that we have to set up the circumstances that there is joyousness. It's simply when we set up the circumstances to our liking, then for some time we don't resist against the fact of the experience and let go. And in that letting go, that natural joyousness that is there has more a chance to come to the surface. So all we have to learn is to find that switch to let go. <laughs> Even if the circumstances are not favorable. Since I can create a new concept that I am not suffering, I am not suffering, like affirmation. You can try this kind of tricks <laughs> with your mind. It, it, may, it may. Many times during the day I tell to myself I am not suffering, I am not suffering. And then when you say so, then you feel relieved. Yesterday I was fighting with myself. No, it doesn't work. Not always works. 
никак не вот так вот разрезают. Возьмите меня за руку и скажите, ты не страдаешь. You say you may have karma from the past life. And it pushes you into suffering. But the karma story simply can create circumstances that you don't like. That are unpleasant. But nobody compels you to suffer. It's only how you reacting to the situation that is creating the suffering. Now I'm not suffering. This you near to you, I'm not suffering. Yes. And now because now you don't have exactly an objection to the situation as it is. Потому что я сейчас с мастером. Now I am with master. А там моя жизнь, мой мой мастер, там моя жизнь. Sir, in my life, other difficulties. Yeah. Okay, but you are not suffering because you don't object to the situation. Не страдаешь сейчас, потому что ты не сопротивляешься. And then, when you feel, when you confront the situation, встречаешься с другой ситуацией that has difficulties, and if you look at yourself, and you, your first thing is to accept, okay, there is a difficulty, then you are also not suffering. It's not, ah, oh, sorry. Yeah. Right. It's not that I'm doing a magic thing to you and that's because of that that you are not suffering. <laughs> you are just, uh, right now in that situation, you, have, you are capable of letting go easier. And your natural state is not suffering, it's joyous. And you can learn to let go like this, even when you face difficult, difficult situations. Right. And that you can do, nobody can do for you. You can get support, you can get direction, you can get help, but then it's up to us whether we keep, whether we keep on creating suffering for ourselves or not. Mm.